put up something. They have a fella called Hans Devins. Now, Hans Devins, I'm going to take my time with you and go calm because you're really a non entity. Right? It's a Facebook post, actually, a little short thing. Here, put it up there. Let's read what Hans Devins said. They cared about, if they cared about the culture, they would encourage their base to go to the cultural events that are still happening. But they don't care about culture. They care about themselves, so they won't do that. Okay. Hans, no, you can leave it up there. No, actually, leave it up. Let the people read this. Hans Devins. Now, maybe, in, I mean, you're a non entity in the scheme of things. But he's a good DJ, right? The Dago Martians, his mashup fet, and so on. Hans, who is they? Who is they, Hans? Because this, this statement here, I'm worried for you. It sounds, first and foremost, let us be clear. When you're making a post like this for public and so on, Hans Devins, you must, you must disclose any conflict of interest that you may or may not have. Hans Devins, since PNM has come into power under Keith Rowley, how much have you been paid personally to host events, to host webinars, to host and MC different PNM functions at different uh, state events, different agencies, and so on? How much extra funding have you gotten on your radio programs from government marketing? You have to state these things. And out of this taste of carnival, how many events are you carded to host Hans Levine's and what are they paying you uh, for your services? You see, you state that first and then you come with your dramatic analysis. So, Hans Devins, you're saying they, if they cared about the culture, who is they and who is their base and what cultural events that are still happening? Are you talking about the United National Congress? Are you attacking East Indian people? Are you saying that it is only the United National Congress and East Indian people who find $30 million for goat pen is nonsensical? Are you saying that it's only United National Congress and East Indian people who find that in a pandemic when we have two shots only and Omicron is now the dominant variant according to CEO Parasram and when we have two shots only we have zero efficacy against Omicron and therefore there is no such thing as a safe zone except for those 108,000 people who have three shots two shots and a booster and even those people cannot really be deemed safe because they only have a 67 percent efficacy and ability to not get infected with COVID-19. So you don't care about the pandemic. You don't care about the loss of lives. It's not of no interest to you that 3,400 citizens have lost their lives from COVID-19 and we've been averaging six to 800 to 1,200 infections per day and our hospitals are overwhelmed and our ICU is the number one death rate in the world. The number one place to die of COVID-19 is you don't care. It's Trinidad and Tobago. That doesn't bother you because you obviously something you you are earning or you are interested in or passionate about about this taste of carnival furthermore in the taste of carnival um and their cultural events like chutney soca and so on did the argument of the unc and the indian people did it change for pan and dimash grass opposed to chutney no it didn't because the the arguments are the same that's a waste of money. People are hungry. People are starving. You stop Nam Devco hampers. You stop food cards. You stop pensions. You under budget. People have lost jobs. And you are taking people, children have no laptops. They've not gone to school. School has been closed for the longest period of time in Trinidad and Tobago. 
and other than any other country on planet earth these things don't bother you hans de beans because you believe this taste of carnival furthermore what is this taste of carnival is it taste of carnival is it the culture or is it pnm in your view so only pnm promoted events are carnival what about all the other promoters who have private events and are unable so to do who have not made money for two years because of your pnm's terrible policy and your porous borders that brings variants in what about the culture what is culture are you defining culture by one or two events that the pnm puts on and they can pay their contractors to make money who is making money who got the contract for this you don't care was there procurement because it's only about eight days ago they mentioned they may have a taste of carnival and boom within two days these things are going up who got the contract what was the tender process i didn't see any invitation to tender or is it happy that some pnm contractor was just giving it sole select but you don't care about procurement because do you have something to do you going to host which event is that this taste of carnival this list of tiny minuscule piece of culture that is what you consider to be the culture of trinidad and tobago what about all the other promoters event planners and so on who are unable to make a dollar because of the incompetence of the pnm they are not part and parcel of the culture the culture doesn't include socialization and private event and promoters making money and concerts and so on so only what the pnm organizes considered by you to be the culture well other than you may be happy to be a pnm that's great but when you spew racist nonsense and you try to group of people who is they and who is they who don't support the culture and who are you to define culture and who are you to say that what your pnm have decided is our culture i think it is very arrogant of you and you probably didn't think through what you said hans devins because really and truly 80 percent of the country which includes members of the PNM and people who voted for PNM, including African people, Indian people, Chinese people, Syrian people, Trinbagonian people, Dogla people, Mass people, Calypso people, Soka people, promotion people, security people, think that it is abject total nonsense. In the hottest time of a wave with low vaccination rates, low efficacy low booster rate to come and spend 30 million dollars on pieces of the culture that someone determined to them that they're important and just to show you a few since you are saying they you know they them huh? you who like to play music and talk on the radio for all of trinidad and tobago or are you just for them or those or who you believe are your supporters is that what you're saying mr hans devins i think you didn't think before you typed because let's see let's see this east indian unc who finds this taste of pig pen stupidness is dotishness and that money could be better spent run it let's hear what she has to say see you all are going to have carnival yeah, I notice you all are going to have carnival and there's millions of dollars going to be spent behind the carnival. Well, here what? I am not in support of that nonsense. You okay? Okay? You know why? I need my blood clot back pay from 2013. You hear what I tell you all, yeah? That carnival do not interest me. And you see, to the, you see the people who is going to support that Carnival. I couldn't play the last piece. I couldn't play the last piece, Hans, because the lady is so angry that she bust some expletives. She bust some French. Is she part of the they? Huh? The base? Their base? Who don't support the culture according to you? The culture, according to Horns Devines, huh? you are the expert on Trinidad and Tobago culture and who supports culture, Hans Devines. Quite arrogant of you. Let's see another one of the base, the base that don't like culture. Actually, run another one of the UNC Indian base there. Let me. 
If Orleans spend money, if Trinidadians spend money to go in a cage to enjoy themselves just to show the world, then Orleans really blasted sheep. So all the people telling Orleans from day one that Orleans is sheep, and Orleans didn't want to believe it, anytime Orleans spend money to go in a cage, Orleans had to be blasted sheep. I, I do not apologize for saying it because it's a fact. It is a six by six pen that they're putting you in to watch a big screen. And they're spending 30 million, 25 to 30 million dollars for you to go in a pen, Trinidadians. I went sinking, you know. No. It has grants that even pay yet. People on, a, on the bread line. You know, people that even get paid for months. That people don't get paid for years, raise a pay. But they're going and putting in a pen for 25 to 30 million dollars. We love you so. We so, Hans Devines, that's another one. And all the hundreds of thousands of Trinbegonians who find your PNM's taste of carnival is ill time mistimed it's dangerous it's deadly it's a waste of money we have other priorities it does not encapsulate all of the culture of trinidad and tobago it's nonsensical it's illogical when you're in the pod and you're drinking beers where you're going and pee in the pod eh hans devines i think you didn't think before you spoke so when you talk about they and them and their and their base not supporting the culture do you know what happened to the culture under the PNM? One aspect of our culture is called Calypso Hans Devines. And you and your PNM and your Joe Newton Williams transformed Calypso tents and Calypso into a PNM party group. And where Calypso used to be the newspaper of the people and the masses before you could be on any radio to talk your racist nonsense, Hans Devines. When the Calypsonians used to sing, no matter who was in power, and when Dr. Williams was in power, he used to say, let them bray, and he used to switch off hearing aid, but he never stopped them from singing, educating the population. The PNM and Joe Newell started to talk about payola, sing what I say, you sing against me, and you get no money, your tent gets no money. And then when Bastio Pandey was the prime minister, some of the most vile, disgusting calypsos by Crow Crow and Aloes. The most racist, vile, nonsensical, disgusting attacks on Trinbegonians started to occur. And then East Indians started to stay away. They used to spend their money and come in the tents and make money. So little boy, if you don't want to read a book and you don't want to learn about what is culture and what is not culture, you are not to tell us and tell the population what is culture. Because your head is so deep up Rowley's k packs that you could sniff when he has a diarrhea. You come to talk nonsense about they and them and they don't support the culture. The culture is not PNM Hans Devines, you inveterate idiot. So I hope that you would apologize and withdraw. And next time, think before you type. Let your brain, whatever little bit of gray matter you have, kick it into gear before you attack people with a racist rant that makes no sense. Your taste of carnival is only for those who will benefit. Are you going to benefit? And how much? How many of those tastes of carnival events are you going to host and MC? How, many, how much advertisements are going to be placed on your program? Are you going to do uh, uh, any video production? Tell the people before you talk. Because only a few financiers who build in stage and tent and, and pod making money. It makes no sense. Where are the pan players going to pay? Half of the pan players who are not in their base are unvaccinated. You don't care about them. Because they can't play. They can't earn a living. You don't care about them. But they're not in my base. They're not in the Indian base. They're not there. So only the vaccinated could go and play the pan in the, in the panorama of pod. You've made no sense, son. It's very sad. Nobody cares if you support your PNM. Support your PNM. 
but do not attack people, do not be racist, do not generalize, and do not discount logic. Because 90% of the population is against this ridiculous, stupid taste of carnival waste of $30 million on a piece of culture. You don't determine what is our culture. The real culture. Put back the Rowley there in the a, a pot there, Archie, Rowley. I'm going to ask Hans Levines. What about this, Hanzo? What about this? This VIP pod with the horny goat weed. That Indian girl. She is part of the they who don't support the culture or she supporting the culture there. She taking bamboo there in the pod. She supporting the culture or she not supporting the culture. So who is they? And as we talk about that, Hans Devins, no carnival taste for Tobago. Hmm. UNC is not in Tobago. But no carnival taste for Tobago. No Indian in Tobago. So Tobagonians don't like their culture. And they don't support their culture. Because stakeholders, I, October. Tobago stakeholders say they support the THA Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation decision to not host a physical carnival celebration on the island just yet. This came hours after the NCC announced 30 million. There will also be a brass contract. On Tuesday, alluding to the resumption of international flights to Tobago, Bedloe was optimistic there would be a spike in tourism by October. It will be a hype up for carnival in 2023. But in Tobago, we are looking at October for safety, for security, and for culture. So hands the beans. Tobago is part of the them, those, they who don't support the culture. You're fast and out of, out of place, little boy. So calm yourself. Try to read a book, educate yourself. And see, support your PNM, but don't make yourself an idiot. I am sure you would love all of Trinidad and Tobago to listen to your radio programs. You, I'm sure you would like all of Trinidad and Tobago to hire the Dago Martians. So from your statement on your Facebook, I would just leave it that now that you have a little bit more information, you'll realize that you heard do a short apology and move on. But if you don't have that ability to understand that you made a mistake and making a mistake is all right, and you don't apologize, then I'm happy that you understand that all of them and they and those will not be listening to any program you have anywhere. And them and they and those will not be hiring Hans Devines or Dago Martians to play in their cultural events. Okay? No problem.